everyone, this is the Mad Salvi letting you know that unless things are proven with Twitter posts and stuff like that and actual, have actual proof behind it, treat everything in this thing as a theory. I will mark try to mark certain things as news and theory and everything like that to kind of let you guys understand, but also, you know, use a critical mind. And I hope you do enjoy. Here we have the big secret. The big secret is out. The, the studio has been at least shown a little bit on their their main thing it looks like a concept for most part because this looks like 3d created but that's their secret they love they love any color but black they love it new studio relocation in progress and recruitment in progress along with sharing past memories we will introduce the new studio which is three times larger in area than the other previous studios i guess that's what they're talking about and of course finish the building first and maybe let's see what on the end branch just a concept but the secret has been released when it comes to this kind of stuff just a rendered image so far uh source required uh looks like a 3d model render it is but they already know you can already tell the uh the secret of what they're trying to do the the black and white which reminds you of their apology stream that kind of stuff that's the that's the crazy secret of uh nidhi sanji right now these comments ended up pretty much becoming a meme in their own right and this is why i have it in the meme section here because yeah what they say is at least Nidhi Sanji has an AX concert. Nidhi Sanji dead. Meanwhile, they get a concert at Anime Expo. Biggest anime NA anime con. Nidhi Ian getting bigger 3D concert venue than uh, CTW. Calling it 7K tickets sold out and 30K online tickets for Nidhi Ian concert. Screen cap this. Well, we did. And look at you now. You're eating crow. And another thing that they're eating crow with, Nidhi Sanji. Look at the, uh, the concept art. This is a concept of how the studio is going to look like. Um, and it which reminds me of this. It reminds me very much of this. We're going to get back to this in the non-meme section, but this is the meme section that I want you guys to see. A quick question about Rosami. A little bit of news. It seems like she has removed the Ninji members tab off of her channel and only kept the clippers. It may be a temporary thing. It may be an entirely different thing, you know, basically trying to prevent people from, uh, you know, harassing them. It could be anything. We really don't know. But it has been removed, it seems like. Remember people using Fanata's page to unsubscribe to Niji EN because she had all of the Niji EN talents on her channel page. It was the fastest way to unsub from every Niji EN talent for a while. And people were resubscribing, some of them, uh, to see if they could bet beat the speedrun record. I swear this is too effing funny, the community and their 200 IQ moves. Rosemi used to have Niji EN on her page. And this is what they're showing here. It's a web archive. Though this could still be a whoopsie that didn't mean anything. Yeah, it could be absolutely not meant as anything. And it could be meant as, you know, something big. We don't know. Um, it could just be, like I said, maybe a way for her to prevent anyone from uh, bad-mouthing any Nidhi Sandy talents or going to harass any Nidhi Sandy talents. Could be a protective measure instead of it being um, a nothing, you know, like uh, uh, something really big. It could be a nothing burger. Because, yeah, she used to have the um, Nidhi Sanji members on the bottom part, Nidhi Sanji EN and Clippers. It could be a whoopsie to uh, streamline the page maybe there wasn't enough space maybe she wanted to reorganize and she forgot to put them back we don't know like i said could be protection could be just nothing jp needy sisters according to this person the needy sisters on the jp side are um taking advantage of the ignorance what they mean by this is that they are basically trying to hide from the misdeeds the, the misdeeds of nidhi sanji and trying to give people nidhi sanji is the biggest the best it's growing uh all the other agencies don't exist or like basically hollow live and maybe vispo are the ones that exist um v4 mirai you know those type of things vispo is their main competitor supposedly and hollow live is too but they aren't that big so it's nothing to worry about maybe it's something you know to make investors happier because you know, since they end up enjoying or liking or loving or whatever the um, the whole situation here. Many Japanese people do not know about Vishojo, Idol Face Connect, Aka, or Maha 5, but they are taking advantage of this. Low efforts. The effort of the sisters have led to Nidhi Sanji competing with Hollow Yen in the English-speaking world in Japan. So, yeah. I think Nidhi Sanji themselves, they take advantage of it. Of course, they will. Because, you know, if you can, as a large corporation, corporations will take advantage of any ignorance that they see. Uh, not only Nidhi Sanji, but everyone else. True, because apparently when Nidhi first made the Selen Termination tweet in Japan, uh, the tweet said to be different than the English version. From what people commented, the JP version left out a few details that were in the English version and put blame more on Selen. Present the cure for Nidhi's disinfo with people in Japan. Of course, no one in Japan, well, very few people in Japan are looking at Kuro Sanji. We looked at this the other day of the, you know, 10% max uh, capacity that they had. But uh, most JP Nidhi sisters, JP people that are, are looking at Nidhi Sanji, aren't looking at that at all. How are they going to explain the council concerts, inevitable graduation wave? They're not. They're, basically, the EN, the EN side is hoping that the JP side is not able to see anything. 
it is not looking at anything. But lying is that you have to keep lying until the data lies un inevitably blown. Uh, they're probably going to blame it on foreigners and things like that. You never know. It's a thought exercise, pretty much. All right, here's looking at another uh, Nidisanji defender, Nidisanji sister, whichever one you want to call them. Remember, the sister term is now something that we co-opted as something just mocking them, not as anything derogatory. It is a term that has been co-opted. It used to be used as derogatory, but now it's used as something positive as just, you know, mocking bad people. So here we go. We're having them talk about saying you're a Niji fan in front of a bunch of hollow livers is so awkward. Silence I got after I introduced myself, but I'm a proud sheep. Oh God, you're calling yourself a proud sheep. That's not a good, that's not as good a thing as you thought. And it's not like I ever done anything wrong. I also like hollow v shoujo. Why do you have to write it that way? I don't know. Just got to suck it up, I guess. But for real, where are the Niji one fans? Niji fans are all on Twitter. We don't leave the house unless necessary. That is, um, <laughs> you just called yourself a... Uh, a, a hermit, a, a weeb, or whatever, pretty much. Uh, they accurately described themselves and didn't even realize how bad it sounds. Now they know the reason why the ticket didn't sell well. I guess the concert wasn't necessary. It was negligible. Do I not feel embarrassed by saying that? What happened to shame? Because normal fans write Niji 1, like Nid NIG 1, Hollow, V Shoujo, other, only sisters do that. I'm saying Diablo goes mobile and expect people to cheer you on. Wait a second. Uh, yeah, there's a couple of livers that I like, but I don't go around and call myself a Niji fan. I'm a fan of the livers, not the company. You can be a VTuber fan, enjoy Niji Sanji livers, but not be a Niji, you know, Niji fan. Uh, never call myself a Niji fan, but rather a VTuber fan. Exactly. That's the way it should be. VTuber fans, they are really in this whole cult-like mentality. It's kind of weird, kind of scary, kind of a little bit of everything. I just find it weird. Some, like myself, already know that there's a curtain call coming. Others are just waiting to see what happens. This is a person saying, you know, that they already mentioned that they're a hollow bro. There's someone that's been, you know, watching Hollow Life for almost two years. But taking a look at, in general, the VTuber market and seeing what's going on, it's um just basically wondering when it's the 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 whole thing is going to come down, when the curtain call is going to happen. Just making this post, wondering if anyone else here is just waiting for the shakeup. Something's going to happen. We all know that. Uh, since no one else responded, I'd like to do a solid. Has been disastrously bad shape for a while. NGN has been. Uh, it was already in a long and slow decline. And it kind of recently announced that their annual financial reports that they're not going to be using them as uh, expectations for growth. Not officially confirmed by anyone whether NGN will persist on life support or whether it's going to be actually you know, absorbed. That's something that is up to Niji Sanji overall. It's up to Niji JP and we don't know 100%. Uh, there's been an increase of activity on the PL and roommate accounts. There was a set of three concerts for Anime Expo LA that were just canceled recently. Any cutter continues to burn bridges with core fan base and event organizers. They seem unwilling to invest in their own brand, even as they burn tens of millions of dollars on other things. For what it's worth, the third concert planned for Anime Expo was a repeat of the Welcome to Wonder Wonder World from April 20th, and that concert was available on streaming until 7th of May. The taster for the concert was still available in Corona Noir. Imagine some graduate and go to Doki Bird Productions Inc. That'd be interesting if they did. Calling it for a while, Nijian is pretty much on game maintenance mode. They're pretty much going to maintain it, pretty much, is what I'm saying. They're just going to be maintaining it for a while. They may end up doing the absorption of it into Nidhi Sanji JP eventually, but for now, they're going to be doing maintenance is what's pretty much going to be happening. Again, more people wondering if the end is near. I feel it is. I feel that for EN, as a branch in and of itself, the end is probably by the end of this year. They're going to continue on life support for a bit, but by the end of this year, it's probably going to get absorbed just like Indonesia was because they're not, they already told investors, they already prepared investors for this by saying in their quarter four, you know, Q&A thing that they are not factoring EN into any of their growth projections. It's all JP at this point. I'm shouting out my feelings into the void here, watching EGN flourish during the 2022 golden age, found a soft spot for a lot of livers. Of course, livers are great. The agency is not, uh, especially a Lyra, big oof, I know. When I put my on uh, my cynical glasses, it's so surreal to realize what's become of the branch. You know, a lot of bad things are happening with the branch. EN graduation season soon, that we'd watch a lot of livers get their freedom back. And some livers are getting their freedom back, and so others are probably just waiting. Like, some of them are not posting anything anymore, because they're probably still on the waiting list. They're probably on the waiting list for graduations. But now to the financial report, after giving up on EN, the AX concert cancellation, and now with everyone else on hiatus, Reactivating their PLs or just full-on Doom posting feels like you could wake up tomorrow and EGN just wouldn't exist anymore. They wouldn't go that extreme because that would actually negatively hurt their investments. But um, they're probably going to ride out the rest of the year in order, at least the rest of the fiscal year, until you know this whole thing goes down. We've seen it happen before in, EG, uh, in India, in EGKR, in EGID. There's no reason uh, in my mind to doubt that EN is next on the chopping block. Of course, 
that is a uh, rumor you know but i'm kind of leaning towards that direction as well watch ap since 2019 watch the end day from day one loved all the memories yen truly felt like a family they had a dynamic no other corpus have niji yen could have been successful they could have been if they supported their livers like hollow life does maybe they won't beat gura but uh pep but being Pepsi to Hollow's Coke could have been way more than enough. It would have made them a ton of money. They could have done something good for themselves. Needy Sandy, the same story as many others, be it Hollywood, game industry, anime industry, etc., were greedy idiots with no long term plans, prioritized on maximizing short term profits at all costs, and wouldn't hesitate to trample on passionate people if it means getting into a few extra bucks. Started watching two weeks after Lazulite debuted, and my god, I have so many memories. What is Solar Spicy Noodles when they all gathered up and played TTT? Illyra pressing a button for 8 hours, Niji Express and City of Crossing, Woo Girls, all that stuff, list goes on. It's just they had so many good things that they could have done, but they screwed it all up. JP Branch would still be up and running, where people here would keep an eye out for any news on JP side. Uh, people will continue to support and post about XNG Livers and their achievements, streams, news. More people here are uh, and willing to continue posting on other corpos and indies here. Um, it's not going to become a ghost town when EDN leaves. It's just going to become, you know, different. Now, moving on to Yuzuki Roa, which is someone who has been on hiatus, not streaming, not posting anything for like four years now, three or four years, I think since like 2021 or so. But Niri Sanji, still being Niri Sanji the way that they always are, they are popping out with birthday merch. And of course, trying to give you guys an idea of what actually is happening there. This is the birthday March uh, announcement. Birthday goods, uh, Voice 2024 to celebrate the birthday of, of Yuzuki Roa will be on sale uh, Niri Sanji official store from 1800 on Thursday, July 4th. And people are like, what the heck? Uh, no, Roa technically hasn't graduated but terminated. The character belonged to them, but selling merch for a streamer that never streamed for the last like three years, pretty much pulled out from the company for that long. That is basically, yeah, they're grave robbing in that sense. Fans who loved her model, sexy succubus model, her true fans are still to this day, still unhappy over not seeing her or hogging her PL, for those who know. You know, she's gotten to her PL. Seems like she's moved on and done independent things recently. So, you know, they're still trying to milk Roa for everything that she has. And, of course, people here are saying the same thing. Could very well happen to Yen, I suppose. If they merge, you disappear, but merch of you are still made. Not graduated, not terminated limbo, just making merch off of you because you haven't done any of that kind of stuff. So, of course, people are happy. People are happy that, you know, people are still very excited that this is going on. You know, uh, thank you, Rochan and all the staff, basically. You know, of course, if you're a fan, then I have no problems with you enjoying this. It just is seems wrong on the Nidhi Sandi side for this to happen. Nidhi Sandi Defense Forces, Nidhi Sandi Sisters, whatever you want to call it, uh, are saying weird things. Uh, company didn't do any of that. Your Oshis did. You don't understand why you would support a company that treats your Oshi that saved you poorly. I don't get it. This is this rage bait. It might be rage bait. What am I talking about? I'm talking about this. I made a blood pact with Niji. I ain't going nowhere until this S turns to dust. Yes, even if my Oshis graduate. Yes, even if I don't watch streams that often. Yes, even if I'm tired of all of this. Yes, even if I lose interest in VTubers, I will still support what brought me happiness in the first place. Where I taught myself discipline and mental strength. It's about me now. I understand. But if your Oshis brought you that happiness, why aren't you going to be supporting your Oshis? That's my question to the, this person here. Of course, they're not going to see this, but you know. It's like, seriously, people here, it's like you. Oh, dear Lordy. That is a little, uh, I'm not even going to say what, it's, what, what that's all about. Uh, hope they don't mean literal blood pact because that would just be weird. Then again, certain someone did pretty much encourage um, weird behavior from their fans. So I guess maybe not so far fetched. Honestly, looking at this guy's profile, I don't think it's a needy sister, but a needy fan who worst buys into toxic positivity. Who knows? But this is just weird. Michi Mochi V keeps on winning as she keeps on getting collabs with hollow live id i'm i'm pretty sure that the shoujo has a lot to do with it because it seems like hollow live is one of those companies that only works with other agencies they don't really work with smaller vtubers unless it's like a uh, thing like matsuri does with uh small vtuber showcases and things like that it seems like they're really more of a company that will go for uh agencies kobo michi ever interacted before it doesn't seem like it michi says hey kobo do you have someone you like yeah do they uh, like glasses Getting scared? Yes. Do you wear glasses? No. Boy, do I have a plan, <laughs> a plan for you. Start discussing staring into light bulbs for hours and reading in the dark while upside down. Oh God, she's trying to make her have glasses. But here's the whole thing. She has the uh, the, the the rump shaker apparently as the intro, and um, they're playing Dead by Daylight, of course. <laughs> they're, they're all they're all having a lot of fun. They're all just having a lot of fun. Wanted to show you a little bit of a clip of it. I'm not going to show you too much because you can watch the VOD. And, uh, you know, to support the talents, you can watch the VOD. But yeah, I wanted to give you a little bit of a clip of that. A good news about Michi Mochi V getting more and more stuff.
that is all for right now of course comment like and subscribe down below thank you for being here of course i love having the conversations with you guys i love having these things with you guys and i do appreciate it whenever you guys do comment take a look at my description for my socials there's a discord there's twitter there's other places that you can check me out twitch etc and also check on your screen right now because there might be a video that you might enjoy thank you